Let me tell you the story of an African-American inventor who made significant contributions to the technology industry in the 20th century. Otis Boykin, the innovator behind the pacemaker and IBM computer, was born in Dallas, Texas in 1920 and developed an interest in science and technology at a young age. He attended Fisk University, where he studied physics and chemistry. After college, Boykin began his career in the electronics industry as a technician. He quickly moved up the ranks and began developing his own inventions. One of Boykin's most significant contributions was to the development of the pacemaker, which is a small device that is surgically implanted in the chest to help control the heartbeat for people with heart failure or an irregular heartbeat. He created a resistor that could be used to control the electrical impulses in the heart, making the pacemaker a more reliable and precise medical device. His inspiration for solving this problem came from losing his mother to heart failure as a young boy. Boykin's work also contributed to the development of the IBM computer. He created a resistor that improved the accuracy of the computer's memory and helped to make it more reliable. But Boykin's inventions didn't stop there. He also developed a control unit for guided missiles, an improved burglar alarm, and a chemical air filter. Despite facing racial discrimination throughout his career, Boykin persevered and was awarded several patents for his inventions. His work continues to impact the technology industry to this day. Otis Boykin's contributions to the pacemaker, IBM computer, and other technologies demonstrate the important role that African-American inventors have played in shaping the modern world. His work serves as a reminder of the importance of diversity in the field of technology and the impact that one person can have on the world. Kids, if you're interested in following in the footsteps of Otis Boykin to become an inventor or work in the technology industry, you should focus on studying science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, otherwise known as STEM subjects in school. Some specific subjects that would be useful for this career path include physics for understanding the fundamental principles of energy, matter, and motion is essential for many technology-related fields. Chemistry for knowledge of chemical reactions and materials can be useful in developing new technologies. Computer science for understanding programming languages, algorithms, and data structures is essential for working in the computer industry. Mathematics because strong math skills are needed for many areas of technology, including computer science and engineering. And studying electrical engineering will give you a broad understanding of electrical systems and devices that are used in many technology-related fields. In addition to these subjects, it's also important for you to develop problem-solving skills, creativity, and the ability to think outside the box. Participating in science fairs, robotics clubs, or other technology-related extracurricular activities can be a good way for you to gain experience and develop skills that will be useful in this field. And by the way, electrical engineers can make between $75,000 to $85,000 on average just in an entry-level position, meaning that's how much they can make when just starting in the field after finishing school. Thanks for sitting with me to hear about this amazing innovator. Aren't you proud?